calculus people. So, has this ever happened to you where you have a problem like this? Integral of x squared times ln x. And you need to use integration by parts. And you gotta learn a bunch of this stuff over here. Liate, as they call it. And yet, you can't seem to get help. So, you go to your mom, who's obviously cooking, cleaning, or watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or something. You go to your, what is it, your sister, and she's like this. Christy, pick me up at A. Oh, no, wait, at 6, because we're going to go to the mall, right? We don't want to be too late. You go to your dad, who's like, again, on his phone. Okay, I put this the wrong way. It's on his phone. Oh, yeah, business. Business, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're always on business, so when are you going to have time for me, like, for help? Okay, he doesn't because he's on business, blah, 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 whatever. You go to your brother, who's obviously, <gasps> Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto. Every five minutes, Grand Theft Auto. And he, he of course, he can't calculus, so don't go to that. And then... You go to, let's see, your book, which tells you nothing, because I have a book, it tells me nothing of how to integrate this. And I just get so flustered, and I throw a temper tantrum, and I get all crazy, and I start throwing things, and that's not, I, I, I act crazy. So, I can't go to my book, and then you go, let's see what, what's next. You go to your instructor, who says this, well... If you were paying attention, you would have known this by now, wouldn't you? And you're like, okay, I don't know it. I, I don't know it at all. Because you didn't teach it to me. You just said, you throw, you throw me this problem, you give me a formula, and how am I supposed to know when you don't teach me anything? I mean, how am I supposed to know which is a U, which is a DV? I'm confused. Because automatically, you probably think, okay, you're you. And this is a misconception. That's why we have this over here, Liate, so you're saved. So you have U. So you, you're going to think in your head, your U is going to be X squared, and your D, V is going to be L and X. That's a misconception. No, it's not. So it's not going to be, the reason why it's because it's going to like turn out weird, and when you derive, let's say, your answer, it's not going to come back to this answer. Remember, we want... If we're gonna derive, if once we integrate this, we want to, and once we inter, I'm sorry, once we integrate this, and we come up with an answer, we're gonna derive it back. We're gonna take a derivative of it. That way, it comes out to this answer again. So, don't listen to anyone when they say, "Okay, u dot dv." Don't don't think that. Don't automatically think that, whatever, here, th this is two terms, so don't automatically think that your u is x squared and your dv is ln x, because it's not. What your u should actually be is, let me erase this so it doesn't get confusing. Your u actually should be ln x, and your dv should actually be x squared. Why, you ask? Because there's this little, I'm going to call it a mnemonic device. So there's this little mnemonic device called Liate. Is that how a mnemonic device works? I don't know. Comment below how a mnemonic device works because I don't know. I'm not like a... Well, you get the point. So anyway, we have this sort of little, um, I'm going to say acronym called Liate, which is Log logarithmic, inverses, algebraic, trigonometric, exponential functions. This is all in order. It's to choose your u, u as u, your u function. So, over here, this is like what you should choose in order to be your u. So, here, our u is l and x. And our dv is x squared. So you see, I have a specific tutor who tried helping me with this. And this is what she would do. Well, actually, not with this problem. Any problem I had, for example, like, okay, I'm gonna say something random, like, um, 
logarithmic differentiation. Okay, this person, this tutor, I'm gonna call um, this tutor named um, Z. No, 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 it's too obvious. Um, I'm gonna call it. Um, miss, I'm gonna call it Apple. Okay, so Apple, Apple would, auto, would, would not only this problem, but many problems, she would sit, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Apple, okay, Apple would sit at this problem for three hours and wasting my time, and Miss, a and Apple is in like, Higher level math. Apples and differential equations. Abstract algebra. Nowhere near my math. So, I get really aggravated because Apple doesn't know how to do this. And she, and she sits at this problem for a long time. And this is what she would do. Okay, Angelina, do you need help? I would be like, yes, I need help. And she would just go like this. Um, can I look at your notes? Don't have my notes, because I only brought a notebook with the worksheet my teacher gave me. Oh uh, no, I left my notes at home, I would say to her. Okay, um, I think you need to do use substitution. Um, what? You, no, don't use use up for this. You don't. I said that to her. And then she'd be like, oh, um, I think integration by parts, but I totally forgot. I need to see the book. I don't have the book with me, because I only came with my notes. My book is like super heavy, it's like, well, I mean, I, it's across the room and that just shows you how heavy it is, because it's like this thick, and I'm not going to carry it in my book bag, of, a book bag, of course. So she would just be like, um, okay, well, oh wait, let me check my Instagram again. Oh, 38 likes, that's, uh, that's okay, but, new, sel new selfie, okay, post, um, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know, Angelina, okay, and then she would do this three hours all the time, every single time, and it would irritate me so badly, where I would just be like, you know what, whatever I get on the test or quiz, is whatever I get, and then I turn out to get a bad grade or a so-so grade, like a B or an A minus, and then I'm like, <sighs> okay. But I'm here for you. And just this channel. So let's let's let me stop flattering and let me actually help you with this problem. Now, if you want to get to a more, if you want to to skip the part where I imitated. Apple, you can skip it and go right ahead to this problem, problem that I will solve. So anyway, using the Miate acronym, I'm going to call it acronym, or comment below telling you I don't know what to call it, so I'm going to call it Miate. I'm going to say it's an acronym, I could be wrong. So anyway, we know our U is L and X, which is a racist and all this better. So our U is L and X. Parts, the formula for it is the integral of u dot u dot dv equaling u dot v mi minus the integral of u, I mean, minus the integral of v dot du. And so you need to look for, now you need to look for your v. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm like bad at brackets and scribbles and stuff. So, you're gonna, you're gonna need to find your uh, v and your du. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate this. We're gonna integrate this, and we're gonna take the derivative of this. We know right away that the integral of ln x, I mean the derivative of ln x, careful, is 1 over x dx, and we know 
the integral, that was the derivative of this, and we know we have to integrate. So the integral of dv is just x cubed all over 3, because if you know how to integrate, 2 plus 1, 3, there we go. Actually, here we go. So, remember, your u is ln x, why? Because of Lyotte, to choose u to be your function, and your dv is x squared, over here, that's your last name. So, if you have your u and your dv, you would, in, you would derive for your u and you would integrate for your dv. So now let's get on with this problem using this formula. Okay, so, we have now, nah, you know what, I'm not, not going to, no, I'll do it. Integral of x squared ln x equals u dot v. So my u is ln x, and my v is x cubed minus 3 minus the integral of u dot v. My, I mean my v dot du. I always get them mixed up, sorry. So my v is x cubed all over 3 times 1 over x. So just to let you know, you can factor this out. So this will be ln x x cubed all over 3. I'm just rewriting, rewriting it. So factor one third out. So you have minus one third all over the integral of x cubed all over x. So we know you have x cubed all over x. So you can change it. Well, you divide the x, so it's just x squared. And now you can integrate. So x squared plus 1 all over 3. So this, then this equals ln x. x. Actually, you can just sort of x. You can say, you can rewrite and say x cubed ln x minus x cubed all over 9 plus c. Better have this little constant thing here. And so this is the integral of this. Now that's not hard using this formula. Now we have, thank god we have this formula because if we didn't then this would be sort of hard to integrate, I should say. Now, I want to make sure this is back to the same one, so now we're going to derive it. Okay, so we know we're going to have to use the product rule for this one, and then this one is just simple derivation. So, I'm going to write it over here. So we know this is our f, and this is our g. So the product rule states is, the product rule is actually f times g prime plus g times f prime, which means, well the prime, you should know, it's a derivative. So, I'm going to actually take the derivative down here because Here's kind of, and you know, I'll put it up here. So it's going to be so your g prime is one over x. So the x cubed times one over x plus. Okay, so I'm going to write this a little smaller. So, ln x is the same, times the derivative of x cubed over 3, which is, um, yeah, x squared. So the derivative minus, so the derivative of this, x cubed over 9, is just 3x squared all over 9. It's just x squared all over 3. So then you're going to have minus x squared all over 3. And okay. So for this one over here, x cubed all over... Actually, if you think about this, this is actually x times 3. So then you're going to be left with squared. So it's going to be x squared all over 3. So now you have x squared all over 3 plus ln x times x squared minus x squared all over 3. Now over here, you see these terms cancel. So now you're left with x squared ln x, which is the same 
as this. So, we're saved. So I hope now you've conquered this lesson, Integration by Parts, and in the next video I will do, actually in the next, you know what, comment below which video I should do next, because I'm thinking of you substitution. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye!